hey guys welcome back before we begin right if you are new to our channel or you are watching these videos for the first time i would recommend you to subscribe to our channel qs script right we have 100 plus videos on different automation tools like uh, postman selenium jenkins maven and we are going to add a lot more so it's really useful if you uh, subscribe to the channel uh, you will never miss out on any new video which we post on a regular basis so saying that let's head on to our postman right now what we are going to cover in this video in the last video we talked about how to add different code snippets in your tests right for your different api request and we also briefly looked at a problem statement where in your create repository request if you send this request multiple times this fails because you are trying to create a repository with the same name right and it cannot create a, a repository again with a name which already exists on the account it needs a different name now the solution could be you can change the name but uh, that's not the ideal solution because you cannot manually change the repository name every time you send a request right so if you are running it on uh, as part of a collection and you have multiple iterations of your uh, api request this is going to fail at the second attempt right because on the first attempt this request will already be using this name so on the second attempt it is going to fail now to solve this kind of problem right what we can do we can make uh, this name or we can get a unique name for this particular value for this repository right so how we can do that now so the first step is to not use any static value here right so we should be using some variable which will give us a unique repository name right so let's replace this with a variable i call it a repo name now we need to generate this repo repository name every time as a unique uh, as a unique value right for that you can use um, something in postman called dynamic variables right so postman provides you with uh, many many dynamic uh, many number of dynamic variable right once you type a variable this uh, starting with curly braces you will get a list of these global variables which are dynamic in nature and which are already defined by postman right so they range from guid timestamp to random integer random string um, random currency email password right so anything you name everything is present here so you don't need uh, you don't need to write any uh, extra extra code right in javascript to generate this random values postman already provides you with that feature so you can use these values or variables anywhere like in your request uri or in parameters or in your request body so we are going to use this in our request body but we cannot use it directly in our request body because we want to create a, a meaningful name for our repository right and we need this value pre-generated before we send this request so the best place to generate this random rep repository name is the pre-request script because this is the first thing which executes on your postman right even before your request is sent the pre-request script runs so it's a kind of precondition so what we are going to do here is we are going to uh, generate a variable here right or we are going to store the name in a variable and first we want to have a static value to this name so that we can easily identify when we look at the response that this is the repository name which was generated right so for that i will use some static value here so sample api which is the static part of the 
value but after this i'm going to add some random values so that this name becomes unique right now how you can do that you can use pm dot variables dot replace in method right and inside this you can use random int right so this is how you generate random integers now what what this random int variable will be doing so postman generates a random integer between 1 to 100 right and it will be generated every time as a unique thing right before that uh, you need to also put a variable because it's a variable it's in the dollar format right so this is going to generate a random name for us and store it in this variable repository name now what we want to do in order to use this repository name anywhere uh, within our tests or within our body we can make it an environment variable right so for that i will select pm dot environment dot set right so i'm going to set the environment variable and then you can give it a name a variable name so i'm going to give repo name and the value would be what we have already generated right so this is going to set a environment variable now if you don't want to write the script you can also use it from the snippet right if you go to snippet there is a snippet for setting an environment variable right so this is the same thing which i have uh, written it manually but you can also use the snippet okay so that's a useful uh, snippet to use here now our prerequisite script is set our body uh, we are using that variable which we have um, which we have set here right so everything looks good now and uh, this request should work any number of times now right because we are using a randomly generated unique value for our repository name okay so let's see as you can see uh, we have got our request is successful we have got a status 201 for our post request and if i go to the body i will if i check the name of the repository right so it's sample api triple one now if i send this request again it will pass again and this time it will generate again a unique integer or unique repository name right so this will work for any number of iterations for your request and this makes it more reusable and more dynamic right similarly you can do it for any variable any parameters or any url which you're using or in your test right so with the help of dynamic variables in postman you can remove the static context from your request and your tests right so that's all on uh, the dynamic variables in postman if you found this video interesting please give a thumbs up if you have any comments or feedback please uh, reply back and i will get back to you on your questions so in the next uh, in the next video we are going to look at something called chaining of requests right so how you can chain different requests how you can pass a value from one request to another so we are going to look at that so join me in my next video